their homes are protected from this deadly virus. Bob Blackman. Thank you very much, um, <clears throat> Madam Deputy Speaker. I've been a big advocate of the vaccination programme and got my jabs as soon as I was enabled to have them. Um, but could my honourable friend answer one of the key issues that have concerned is that the gap between the different vaccines has been adjusted in terms of time at various times. And as the right honourable member for the Rhonda mentioned, those that are extremely clinically vulnerable have had their uh, booster a long time ago. The effectiveness of that is waning. And we already know that in Israel they are administering a fourth dose, particularly to the extremely clinically vulnerable. So will she take back to the JCVI to look at specifically the extremely clinically vulnerable to see if they need a fourth dose? Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. And those that are uh, clinically extremely vulnerable or uh, immunosuppressed have already had the offer of a booster, so they've already had four doses. And as I said earlier, just at the end of last week, the JCVI uh, determined that at this stage it wasn't appropriate for others to get their, uh, have a booster or a fourth dose. Jim Shannon. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Can I thank the Minister for her answers as well? And, and can I